Ladies and gentlemen, today we have a replay between Vartix and Nirvana. Okay, we have Nirvana starting with a scavenger and Vartix starting with Witch Claws. Strange choice. Let's see how this works out. Nirvana takes the well that I approve of. Good job, Nirvana. And Vartix does not. Bad boy. And it looks like Nirvana is going here for... No, okay. Vartix takes the well over here. And Nirvana pulls back and then doesn't pull back. I think he's hoping a second well is taken so he can launch an offensive. A second well is taken. And Nirvana grabs a second well also, which he probably should have just attacked, but okay. That is fine. I'm going to speed up until some engagement happens, because I'm bored. Another well is built, and Nirvana takes an orb. So right now I am a bigger fan of Vatrix, because... Vartix, I'm sorry, because he stayed... Tier 1 and built a well. Shadow has the ability to defend rather well. Although Fire Nature is a hard deck to defend against, especially because of Ravaged Burrowers and such. Ghost Spears. Um, okay, also a decent choice, I guess. Forsaken. Now we can't make more than one set really because they'll just get hurricaned. Nox to take out the scavenger and a Drake. He should ravage his borrowers right now. That gets nasty, that would be bad. Wonderful job. Very good job. Uh, which claws actually have more health even than Dread Charger, I believe, which makes them a very good unit for Nasty. Um, okay, so that was a fail attack, which basically did away with Nirvana's whole advantage at going Tier 2. So now this Tier 1 gave a very large advantage to Vartix, and Nirvana should take a well and cut his losses because there is no way he can win this anymore. Vartix has 150 about to defend. Nirvana does have some good units. Let's see what happens. Hurricane. Yeah, okay. He doesn't nasty it because he doesn't want to hurt his own Forsaken. Interesting choice. These are built outside of the Hurricane. They will probably get immediately frenzied, which they should, because then the Drake won't be able to escape without at least ravaging. I don't know why Vartex did not frenzy these. That would have been a good choice. He's going to try to nasty the... Oh, he can nasty those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good job. Even with the shot off, it'll kill the Drake. Um, okay. How's Nirvana's power pool? They're pretty equal on power right now. There are a lot of Forsaken here, which makes for some Hurricane. He should motivate those. Very good. Oh, here come the Scythe Fiends. Nox are good for the first ability, but yeah. But after the ability goes off, then you need Forsaken to focus down the individual guys. But we'll see a Ravage. He Ravages the Ghost Spears instead. Interesting. Okay. Uh, but at this point, Vartex has a lot more power, and he is just taking advantage of that by spamming units. Oink, bad choice, I think, because Vartex has power to make more units, although I don't know how Nirvana could have known that. Yeah. Good heal. Good heal. Uh, Vartex is... In an interesting situation right now, facing two good medium counters. Worth a lot of power, and Nirvana will probably heal. Yeah, right there. Alright, he's gonna try to heal. He's coming over here just to heal as well. We're gonna he's going to get the heal off, it looks like. Yeah, I don't even know his power pool, but it, there's no way he's not going to be able to. But all this time, Vartix, how much power did he gain already? Yeah, he already paid for this pool and made 15 power. So no major advantage yet. 
Well, that's not true. It is a major advantage, because Nirvana has bound power on that orb. So, okay, this is pretty devastating, this route, but with an oink, yeah, this is this is getting dangerous. That well can very easily go down, especially... Oh, Nirvana doesn't have an SD. Yeah, I have a feeling this well is going to drop. But Vartex did already pay for that well, so... Yeah, so the well dropped, but Vartex still ended up with the advantage in power. And Vartex decides to go tier 2. At this point, he already gained his advantage. He's okay. So, I'm surprised Nirvana did not make a well. I guess he saw the tier 2 and figured he could definitely... He should motivate this. He should have immediately motivated that and used an ox ability or something. Nasty. Good job. Good job. What on earth was that route? I have no clue. Okay, we have a Lost Souls deck. And here is a Borrower. Nirvana still did not build another well. I'm, I'm not liking this. It's good pressure, but very, very risky to not build any other wells. Nightcrawler and Dark Elves. Lost Souls' favorite combo. Ability to take out the Ghost Spears, but Ghost Spears have Ravage, so it's probably not going to do such a good job. Oh, took out two of those guys. Although they regain health because of Ravage, they regenerate new new units. Uh, no, no, don't do this. Don't go offensive like this. A Nasty will be very, very bad because your units are very low health. Yeah. D ah, terrible oink. You knew that was coming. Yeah, he wasn't trying to... Oh, beautiful. Okay, so will that Ravage work? Oh, that's right. He has Cobalt Trick. What is this? Lost Priest? What does this guy even do? Uh, oh, Lost Wanderer, a real Lost Souls player. Oh, this should be fun. Lost Priest does... Okay, I, I'm sorry. I have to pause this. <laughs> I have no idea what these guys do. Uh, Lost Priest releases a shock that deals 56 damage to... Okay, Exhaustion... Uh, trigger a curse chain that may affect up to five units. The curse jumps from one to the next. Each affected unit will deal 30% less damage. Okay, that's cool. So he's going to make everyone do less damage. The Wanderer gives shields to everyone. Okay, fail, root, and mine. Nirvana is a very, very good player, by the way, but uh, he's making a couple big fails here. That was too early. He only... And a Lost Reaver. You know, I don't mind having a Reaver if you have all these other... Oh, wow. Good combo, by the way. I've seen this done before. Very strong combo. Reaver with Shield. And now this Drake is doing less damage. Very cool. I haven't seen this ever, I probably. And there we go. Shield on that guy. Very clever. This is nice. I like seeing different. It makes me happy. Yeah, that, that Borrower is not doing very well. Yeah, you can large counter all you want if this thing has a shield. Could you focus the shield like a shaman? Like click on a unit? I don't know. That would be cool if you could do that. Good freeze. Um, yeah. Lost Priest is very low on health. Here comes another Wanderer to give shields. This is great. Uh, another Drake. He shields his priest. We can expect a shield. Oh, he could, yes. See? You can choose who to give shields to. That's great. I didn't know about that. Very good. And another freeze. Good job. I can see this well dropping. Oh, apparently he used the ability for the Wanderer to bring it back to life. Interesting. Okay, this well gets healed. Here comes a reaver. Vich oh, wow. And that roots did not work. Three reavers is nothing to laugh at. And this guy is still giving shields, even though he's non-existent. Uh, lava field. Eh. And that well is going to drop. Dark Elf Assassins, just to take out this well before it gets healed. There it goes. Now he's going to go with the orb. He could probably just nasty one. Oh, he's going to nasty this one right here. Uh oh, uh, here it comes. He's running away, trying to avoid the nasty. Orb down. Nirvana quits. That was fun. 
I, I don't know if that would have worked if he didn't have already a power advantage from staying tier uh, tier one. But that was really fun with those uh, lost guys. I like that. Vartix, if you hear this, I uh, encourage you to upload more replays. That was a lot of fun to watch. All right, guys, see you in the next video.